Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 3, part 91, and in this segment, I'm using my Viper ACR. This is the only Viper that I own that I haven't driven yet. Unless I have a racing one, I don't think I do. But anyways, to our next event, I already checked, it's not on the season play, unfortunately. But, it's fine, we're doing the Dodge Track Days. For Dodges, of course. So... Here's the uh, dr driver lineup. Davis in the Satan competition coupe. And me and Taylor are using the same car. Heck yeah. So four more races and let's just get right to it. With our first race at Silverstone National. So it's going to be interesting to see how this uh, ACR ranks up against the competition coupe. If I've seen Zone Tan, can't say I've heard of it. In fact, I haven't heard of that. Rip season play. It's okay. Spoiler alert, it's coming back in the next segment because the season play thing w suggesting was the next track day series when I had gotten this car, so. Yay! But for now, shall do this in the event list. So, am I going to start in front or behind Taylor? Behind, alright. I like this uh, difference in cars. Viper, 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 Viper. Challenger, okay. Charger, alright. SRT4. Oh. Truck. Oh. So, yeah. Anyways, let's go. Let's go in our Vipers. Yeah. Ooh, that that launch though. Love when I get that launch. Yeah, the Ram's gonna win this for sure. It's just gonna ram through all of us. Ah, you see what I did there. Okay, Davis is uh Davis is actually a little fast with that comp coupe. I'm thinking I'm probably leaving some shit on the table here with the uh, ACR, considering you know it's my first race in it, I'm getting used to how it drives. Is it one make? Okay, I can stop there. Okay, well, um, this is not going looking to be very promising. Satan car is a little too fast. Gaining time, son of a bitch. Okay, comparing lap time. Oh, yeah, he was a half second faster that lap, son of a bitch. One thing I haven't gotten used to yet is this car's brakes, because this car has some pretty good brakes. Go plan on playing most one in 2005. Yes, I do. And when? I don't know. It'll be, it'll be sometime after I do Underground 2, which I don't know when I'm going to do that. Full list of games I want to LP. Should check it out. Ok, 
Okay, I think I actually gained time on Davis that lap. There's a chance. Okay, no there isn't. <coughs> Excuse me, holy shit. Yeah, underground two is delayed because that one demanding prick. I missed the two week quota. Sadly. I think I can do this. I just need to get a better start. Now that I know how this car behaves. Basically, someone left a comment. Someone left a comment demanding that I LP underground to within two weeks. That was at the end of last year. Like, he didn't ask me, he demanded it. It's like, in two weeks or else, or something like that. Okay, I was closing them there at the end. Okay, attempt two. Possible I just need to drive better. Now that I now that I know how this car actually does, you know, drive, it shouldn't be too bad. So this first couple laps was just learning this car, which is what caused me to lose so much time, and okay. That was almost a golden opportunity right there. Excuse me, Davis. I would like to be in front of you in your sexy ass competition coupe, but I want my sexy ass ACR in front. So, yeah, one thing that actually took me a few laps to get used to was this car's surprisingly good brakes. This car has really good brakes, at least compared to what I was driving with the Corvette, at least it seems. It could just be. I don't know. Go. Okay, he's definitely got the advantage in the first turn. You gotta take it a little more careful. Because, you know, going wide there, turn one, is just nope, you're done, kid. Slipstream down, whatever the hell the straight is called, champion straight or something, I don't fucking know. Going for it. It's not giving me room. Well, that almost worked. Oh, I got the run off the turn though. Anything with it though. I remember, uh, I, I just finished Alfa Romeo on that project, so I think next is going to be Alpine. Okay, I'm definitely close enough to uh, actually pull off this dive. How are you doing? Shift lag, Jesus Christ. Davis, could you shift your car a little better? Nope, oh, it's a P1. There we go. I 
56-1. Oh, okay. I fucked this up. I fucked this up. Oh, hey, Bleak. See you back there, Davis. Plotting. Sexiest battle in all of motorsports. Viper versus Viper. Okay, one more lap and a little bit of a gap here. Three quarters of a second, nice. A loud snack. Sexy snack. Still love how the snack emblem acts as the uh, middle brake light on these things. Exit, but it's fine. And there we go. Took two tries, but we got it. We got it, and then we have Jones and Anderson battling for seventh right in front of my car. Because they decided to bring, you know, slower vehicles to the Battle of the Vipers. Hell, Brown and Millerstone. I love the, the massive gap between the Vipers and the rest of the field. Hello, Razor Best. How long do I usually stream? I usually stream for at least three hours. Like, no, no less than three hours, but I try to stream for longer than that if I can. <laughs> Long enough, yeah, pretty much. It was almost. Jeez. That was uh, 42 seconds, first to fifth. Jones and Anderson still haven't finished. There they go. Okay, well. There's that. First race down. 14 grand more in my pocket. And more uh, upgrade discounts for whatever cars that were eligible for that discount. So, one race down, three to go. Oh boy, to the Amalfi Coast. I think Davis's car has the uh, slight handling advantage on me, so this might be more difficult. But we're doing the uh, normal direction, so I might be able to do some shenanigans towards the S's. Actually, no, I, I don't know. Gonna have to do some shenanigans somewhere in order to get this lead, I know that. It's because of how tight this track is. So, yeah. And off we go. Hello, Ryan. Malfi's best track is GT4. That's different to Malfi track, though. Let's go. Of course, there's the fact that I have to get around Taylor as well. In the other ACR. Okay. Thank you. Oh. I think Taylor's not having a good time with these S's. <laughs> nah, Taylor had a terrible time with those S's. But I did not do what I was wanting to do, and that was uh, kind of take the lead immediately. Which is probably going to make this more difficult. 
What do I think of GT Sport? I think it's going to be a good game that a lot of people are going to hate for stupid reasons because they're expecting GT7 out of it when it's just, it's literally not GT7. That's what I think of GT Sports. Fuck my ass. Oh, I damaged the engine. Okay. Restart. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> this time not crash. That was that was pretty uh bad. Okay. So I think from what I saw there in that first attempt, if I don't get around Davis quickly here oh okay. Rip Taylor. If I don't get around Davis quickly here, he's probably going to drive away from me, so let's just do that and hopefully keep him behind me. This is going to be a very defensive race but for me. You stay behind me, son. And the hairpin. Super wide. I actually getting a little bit of time on him in that last section before the hairpin. Nice. Okay, the car got very sad over that. Holy shit. I had too much steering input. We're not out of the woods anymore. We're, we're right back into these woods. I don't know. For some reason, I find it funny that when I fuck up, I like to say, call myself gay. It's called, I have a really stupid sense of humor. Damn it, this turn. Keep thinking that turn like ends sooner than it actually does. We're diving. Because I'm very bad at hitting breaking the correct breaking point for that hairpin. That was kind of an accidental retard dive. Right there. Fantastic, okay. Whoop. I wonder where Taylor is after um the happening. AKA when I accidentally wrecked him. Go not now, Jason. Why? Um, see you later, Jason. Looks like they're gonna do a good exit off this hairpin, despite missing breaking points. Take a straighter shot. Gonna stay in second gear through this. Fuck it. That's a wall. Now you know. Go. Okay, this turn lasts a while. At least the way I was doing it. There we go. last turn. And there we go. A little sadder. Of 
Well, is it an eventful race? Kind of. First couple laps were. And Taylor is all the way back in seventh. He, he's racing with the slow guys. Very good. After his uh, unfortunate incident. And considering the way this track is, he probably is still in 7th just because it's almost impossible to pass around here. Especially AI versus AI. Like, I'm pretty sure he just could not get around, like, didn't have any chance of getting around Anderson. Anderson! No, no. I just realized I have almost 1.5 million XP in this LP. Nice. Yeah, SRT4 is clearly faster than the Viper. That's the reason. That's the reason right there. Okay, next race to Catalonia for the blah, blah, blah. Catalonia National Circuit. For three laps, so. So far, same tracks as the Corvette track day, just different order. And in the case of Amalfi, different direction. So, as far as the three have auction, has auction house, yeah. I can't use it because, you know, I don't have this thing connected to the internet. Anyways, time to race at Catalonia. Hopefully, I can do this one on my first try. That'd be nice. Less editing. <sighs> okay, here we go. Oh, jeez. Hell yeah. I don't know. Okay, well, P1 into the first turn. Nice. Get to look in my mirror and just see freaking competition coop all up in my face. Or I guess his face all up on my ass. Did I eventually play an LP test drive them all? Yes. I believe that's on my list. If it isn't, I should add it to the list. There's actually a lot of games that I've re recently uh, acquired that aren't on my LP list, but I still would like to LP. And stuff. Oh god, okay, we're good. And here comes Davis. I'm not sure when to break, so I'm just going to be conservative here. Yeah, taillight covers are the most fragile things in the universe in this game, cute. It's hilarious, kind of. My favorite generation is Supra, probably Mark III. Yeah, I'd say Mark III Supra is my favorite. I have Gran Turismo like one and two to blame for that, mostly one, since that's always my starter car in GT1. That's Viper term so good, because despite the way it looks and despite that it has like a fucking eight liter engine and V10 in this thing, it's a pretty good sports car. Like it isn't it isn't just a muscle car, it's a good sports car. Plus yeah, this is like a track day version of the Viper. Because ACR Okay, one lap to go, and I have 1.4 second cushion, nice. Oh, 
was a little late on the brakes. We're good. Shit. God oh, damn it, it just hit me. I'm driving a track day car in a track day event. Go me. Took me till just now to realize that. Or process that. I'm a god amongst men. What the hell is wrong with Williams? He's quite a ways behind. Then again, you see that gap on the map between 4th and 5th. A.K.A. between the last Viper and the rest of the field. Look how the red line starts sooner on the uh, the games tack than the in car tack. Hooray! So there we go. Win 2.3 seconds. Easy race. My favorite version of Catalonia, probably the f like just the regular Grand Prix circuit. Although I prefer the yeah the turn where the motorcycle dude died this year over the chicane, but. You know. That, that was a thing that happened. Now we wait on Jones and Anderson. Ow. And there they go. Jones beating Anderson again. Okay. Got my car up to level 3. Sweet. And let's move on to our final race of the Dodge Track Day. Which I believe is actually going to be at a different track compared to the uh, Corvette Track Day we just did. Yeah, I mean Louis Salam. Or whatever the hell his name was. Yep, Mazda Typhoon Lagoon. Oh boy. This one's going to be an interesting race. If anything, just because of the track. I mean, I have a pretty good couple of advantageous turns in this compared to the AI, especially turn 10. The AI sucks at turn 10 in, in this game. So, am I going to play Rise Sport Challenge today? Probably not. I think this is just going to be a Forza day. Unless I just get so tired of playing this, then I'm like, I don't want to play something else, and it's, I don't fucking know. Anyways, to Laguna Seca. But probably just going to be Forza today. Here we go. Good launch, got around Taylor, might be able to get alongside Davis into the hairpin, and I outbroke myself. Damn it. Ooh, that's actually a move I could have probably made there in turn three, but oh well. I guess a little bit of fall of the leader is in store here for uh, the majority of this lap. But once we start going downhill, that's when I'll probably catch him. Because like I said, turn 10 is my biggest time gainer. Which is nice because it leads up to a big overtaking spot, aka turn 11. Oh, hello corkscrew. Hello, Davis. Forza puns versus Drive Club puns. Drive Club wins. Their puns are too strong. Ah, damn it. Why am I setting up on the outside? This isn't correct. Can I get the over-under? Oh, shit, I actually did. 
Okay, that worked out uh, surprisingly well. That's not how I plan on doing that, but hey. Got the lead. In fact, that probably worked out better than I was hoping for. Pretty sure uh, Becky Lynch worked for Evolu Evolution Studios while they were making Drive Club. Because of all those damn puns. Just holy shit. So many puns in that game. Screw proper this time. There we go. I always end up cutting that right hander. Probably still cut it a little bit there. I can't. Couldn't exactly tell. That is a blinding sun. How you doing? Oh, I guess that was too soon on the brakes. Okay. Whoop. And some wheel spin. Exit the turn with style. And final lap. Whoop. But anyways, while I was saying about the red lines on attack. Actually, the attacks aren't even synced up. Because the Forza attack, when it went to needle went to 6,000, the end car attack went to 5,500. Whoops. Oh, jeez. Okay, that was way too soon on the brakes. And I fucked up. Also carried too much speed through the left-hander. Just threw the dirt on the right. Okay. Just make it through this turn without fucking it up. There we go. And victory. Okay, overall, that wasn't that bad. Once I got used to the car, that wasn't that bad at all. So, how far behind is the second half of the field going to finish this time? Still love that Viper, 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 Viper. Everything else is not Viper. Dodge, dodge, bro. All those dodges. And the poster car of the series, the Challenger, fifth place. Hey, speaking of, Brown finally made it across the line. Now this Jones Anderson battle. I've just seen Jones beat Anderson every time. And continue to do so. Alright, cool. So there we go. That was the Dodge Track Day. I love racing Vipers. Boy, do I love racing Vipers. Alright. Almost 13 grand for winning. Here's stuff. And speaking of racing Vipers, our last Track Day event is going to be... Viper track day. So, with that, um, prepare to see more Vipers. So, stay tuned for more Forza 3 now. 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 Later. Soon. Maybe.